Hello everybody and welcome back to another Ethan Journal video. In today's video we are going to be doing a part two to my creating images with AI um, on a Mac. I did this video back in October um, as a part one and that video really blew up. It's like one of the most popular videos on my channel right now and I thought I'd kind of do a follow-up now that I've learned a lot of stuff from the comments that I got on that video between YouTube and Rumble. Um, and I've learned a lot. I've learned a lot about Diffusion B and how to run the whole Diffusion AI in, um, image engine. Um, so I think let's take a look again at this and see if we can improve and get some better images. And just like last time, I will be posting these images in the description. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, everybody. So here we are in the Diffusion B app. Um, as you can tell, it has changed a lot. They have a lot of new settings, um, such as text to image, image to image, and outpainting. Um, along with the history, so you can see the images that you've created in the past. They also have prompt ideas, styles, so you can actually like choose the kind of image you want. It already pre-fills that in there to like help the AI know what you're looking for. It also has a lot more options now, so they have higher resolution images, um, and they've essentially created a lot of this more. Now, I should also add um, in here that these, this engine that runs this is created by a company that I forget the name of, um, but I'll post them here on the screen. Um, but I also learned that they have this, essentially this entire app on their website. Um, so if you don't have a Mac, but you still want to try um, experimenting with uh, Image Engine Diffusion, you can still experiment with it on their website completely for free. And I know that's a really nice thing about Diffusion, unlike um, OpenAI's Dolly, it's completely free to use. And this app is available on Mac. I didn't pay for it at all. It's just here for me to use and it's standalone. It doesn't need to be on the internet, which means I'm assuming it doesn't have as any tracking or analytics. And I, um, de I declined any of the ones during setup, but it's a really decent app and I really enjoy it. I'm not being paid um, by this company in any way. It's just a really cool app that I found on GitHub that I thought would make cool videos. So let's get started. Let's go with the same one that we did last time and see if we can get anything. So I'm going to do a cabin on um, on the edge of a lake during the night. And now I've done this, and then what I'm also going to do is I'm going to go here into styles, and I'm going to choose some some styles. So first off, what, ki what type of image do we want? Well, do, we want do we want to do a drawing style, or do we want to do a visual style? I'm going to probably go with this one as like a sketch because I think that'd be kind of a cool art style for this too. And I'm going to have it do that one as um, like a colored pencil sketch. Maybe that'll kind of look neat. Um, I'm not, I want it to be HD for sure because it'll probably help with resolution along with um, maybe making it look some cool um, effects in here as well. But I'm just going to leave it at that for now. We can experiment with this later on. But I'm also going to do this um, simply at the 512 by 512 resolution. And let's see what comes out. Again, like last time, I do have to stop the video because this app uses pretty much my entire resolution. So I'll see you guys all. Um, I'll see you guys all when the uh, image generation is done. All right, everybody, I am back. It has literally been 15 or 30 minutes. I don't know. I was helping my parents set up with Christmas while I was waiting for this uh, image to generate. But... You guys are probably going to be pretty happy because it actually turned out pretty gosh darn well. Ta-da! It actually looks like a painting, or more like a sketch. Um, I actually think it turned out pretty well. It's got a lot of details. It even has like the reflection in the water. It's really, really nice. So I'll go ahead and save this, um, and we will get started on the next image. All right, well, now we know that worked pretty gosh darn well, so let's come up with our next image. I want to similarize it to the last uh, episode we had so let's do another one um, similar to the other one so let's do a campsite in the middle of a forest at night and then similar to last time let's go into our styles here um, for this one let's do something a little bit different let's do a detailed and intricate um, and let's not do any more there but let's try to make this one Let's see, are there any really good ones in here that we could do? We could do a geometric, we could do a comic book, digital art, graphic novel, a mosaic, that'd be kind of cool. We could do a realistic one, uh, we could probably try that. Um, we could do a CGI, make it look computer animated, do we want to try doing something like that? Let's do it. Let's just do a CGI 
Um, and then we'll go down here, we'll get the information, we'll do high definition, um, and then there's anything here to make it look really good. Like, um, we could do a cinematic, like, um, a nice look there. So let's add in those. We have a lot of, uh, a lot of, um, styles in there now. Um, what do we want to do for lighting? Do you want to try something there? Um, let's see. I'm just going to do <laughs> beautiful lighting. All right, so that's going to be our prompt, and let's just see um, after this is done what ends up coming out of this random contraption of of search terms or um, image generation terms. So I'll be right back. All right, I am back, and this one turned out pretty similar. It actually looks pretty nice, so I'll show you guys it right now. Here it is. Um, it's similar design to the last one. Here's the image. Uh, it'll probably be up right above me of the actual image of the last video uh, with a similar prompt. Of course, it's a little bit different, but it turned out pretty well. I actually think that um, this CGI look, it kind of made it look like it's in a fisheye lens, um, but the image turned out pretty, pretty decently as well. Um, so let's come up with some with some other prompt ideas. All right, everybody, so I took some time to try to think about a decent idea um, that I could use to come up with something, and I finally have it. I want to try using the aerial view, like an over, like, bird's eye view type thing. I want it to show me, like, an aerial view of, like, a downtown. So, um, a future, futuristic downtown street and that's all i'm gonna put because then i can go into here um in the styles and come up with something so first off i'm not gonna do any of those but i do want it to look real so i want it to be um is there anything in here for modern real view in hd and make that look cool and i'll make it um with dynamic lighting because i think that'd be kind of right there um i don't need an artist specific um and should I make it look like an actual engine? Because I could make it look like, uh, but I want it to look real. It's my thing. So maybe if I go into here and I find something like, um, sort of photorealistic. And never mind. Um, I'll just do realistic here and I think that'll look pretty good. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt to upscale it as well. So let's see if I can make the image, but I want to make it like landscape kind of. So I'm going to do that while also making it like 760. So it'll be, pr it'll be like, um, like a landscape tile style image instead of being the square. So this one is saved. I'm going to have this one generate and I'll be right back when that one is done. Okay, everybody, we have come across our first failed image. It's kind of sad. I was really excited for this image. Um, I don't know what went wrong. We might have messed up somewhere in the thing, but I really don't see how our claim went wrong. Um, again, it's AI generated, so I'm actually going to try this again. But just so you guys can see it, this is how it turned out. It's just a garbled mess. <laughs> um, I'm kind of upset with that, but it's fine. It's honestly AI. You can only get a couple of really good ones before you're going to get a bad one, and that's how AI image generation works. It's a computer trying to understand what you're saying and putting that into something. We have to accept that it's not always going to be correct. Um, and that's something I've learned a lot. I've done a lot of these on the side, um, both with this and using the GPT-3 model from OpenAI, which is a text generation one. They're both really, really good, and pretty much anything is. I've also experimented with Midjourney and, and Dolly. I've experimented with pretty much the main three ones that are out there right now. And all three of them really have really good artwork that can come out of them. I'd probably say Mid Journey has been the best one I've been able to find. Problem with that one is it's on Discord, which not everyone can access, and it does cost $10 a month to use if you want to use more than the trial period of images generated. Um, but overall, even though this one here did turn out not like we wanted it to, I think it's pretty neat to see that we did get a mistake. But what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to click HUD and do generate again, and maybe we'll get something better this time. If not, we can change our prompt because I do want to get this image out before um, before the video is done. So I'm going to click generate over here, and I'll see you guys when this one is finished up. All right, everybody, we actually have a decent result this time. It's still a little bit glitchy, um, but maybe there's something wrong with my prompt, but I will accept this one as a decent design. Definitely looks AI generated like the rest of these images have, but I think it turned out pretty nicely. Um, here it is, and yeah, it's definitely smaller than the rest, but you guys can see these with the link in the description. 
Um, but I think it turned out really nice. You can actually see, like, the aspects of it being a city. Um, here's an upscaled version of it. Um, but you can tell it is trying to create a city. Um, if you, like, on the smaller form, it definitely looks a lot better. But here is what it looks like. Um, looking at it a little bit more, it's, it's not good. I'll put it that it's not really good, um, but it's still a really cool idea. It definitely got the it, it but it what it did do is it did get all of the things we were looking for. It does look futuristic. It does it an aerial view. It is high definition somewhat. Um, I really can't confirm it to have the uh, dynamic lighting, and it looks somewhat realistic. Now that's where I'm gonna wrap this video up. But what did I learn through this process? Well, I definitely learned that AI image generation is getting better since I made like my last video. Diffusion, um, the entire Diffusion AI engine has been upgraded a lot and so has this app. It's updated the model quite a few times and it's increased its file size by, by a good three gigabytes, which I'm assuming that's the different models it uses um, along with the system itself is what it's based off of. But overall, I think it has turned out pretty well. I'm, I'm excited to see where this goes. And unlike crypto, I think that AI image generation might be something that's going to take off or at least stay here and not going to just taper off into non-existence. Other than that, I would like to say thank you all for watching today's video. Be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Um, I really have nothing else to say other than that. Um, when I'm recording this, I want to say Merry Christmas to you all because Christmas is in a couple of days. Um, well, a couple of weeks at this point, but whenever this video ends up going up um, when I'm done editing, it might be closer to Christmas than it is right now. Um, but yeah, all right. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys learned something in this video. Be sure to check out Diffusion B if you have a Mac. It's a pretty cool program. Um, but yeah, thank you all for watching. Have a great rest of your day. God bless you and goodbye.